Welcome back to the Sharon Jones Show. Hey, it's been a day already just finding out things about people, things about places. I tell you, it's just been a real, real, uh, real, real time on for us getting information from very good, reliable sources. Today, I have Mr. Norman Quarles that's sitting in the studio with me, and we're just talking about things that he did to better to himself and get himself back lined up with God's Word. So, glad to have you here at the studio with me today. Glad to be here. Thank you. Wonderful. Now, Mr. Quarles, you are working hand-in-hand uh, -hand with some of the uh, the things that are helping people retransform their lives. Is that correct? Yes, ma'am. I uh, work uh, primarily with the uh, men in the Muscogee County Jail uh, as assistant chaplain. So I go in Monday nights and Sundays and just do some ministering, you know, just basically telling them my story because I believe that your story, your life, your testimony is the uh, most powerful thing that you could ever give to a person. Right. So you went through a program, uh, how many years ago that was? Uh, it wasn't necessarily a program. What happened was uh, God put me away, allowed me to be away for three more years because I had uh, an addiction to alcohol and also cocaine. And um, in 2008, I just, I basically gave my life to God. And when I gave it to God, you know, I just, I ate the word and it really helped me. My relationship, it really helped me get clean. So by the time I was released from prison, I was strong enough to even go back into some of the areas where I did drugs, sold drugs, and was able to sustain my relationship with him and stay in sobriety. Wow, that takes a lot. Yes, ma'am, it does. <laughs> because it really I does. had a guy a uh, couple of shows back, he worked in the jail and he was talking about how the black male goes out and the high number of race of them coming back, yeah. uh, going back out into the same type of environment and how they would expect a bunch of them back. And it was just, the numbers were just astronomical. So I was like, yeah. But you're one of the people I'm finding that beat the odds of returning back to what you come from mm -hmm. and what you knew, you know? So, and I thank you that you come to share your story because you should not be ashamed. Your life is a Amen. testimony. Amen. And it Amen. is not for you to keep a hold, it is for you to share. Because I believe, Mr. Quarles, there's somebody out there that needs to see this this TV series yes. that that that's going through something like yourself. Yes. And and I know God used you mightily in the ministry Amen. to just pull people forward. What ministry do you attend? I attend Faith Worship Center under uh, Pastor Ann Hartman. That's my mom, and uh, you know she's helped me with a lot. You know the the anointing in that house. It mm. helps me to stay you know, uh, in the right place with God. But one of, the, one of the things that I really wanted to point out was people have to make a choice. There are all kinds of drugs and um, things that are still in the prison system that are available to you. Wow. It all starts with a choice. You can just about get any, any drug you want in the prison system. Mm. But uh, wow. it's, it's about making choices. You know, I had a counselor tell me uh, one time she told me, she said, Norman, you're going to be the sum total of the choices you make in life. You know, and once you start to make a good choice, it, it, it becomes a habit, just like making bad choices uh, to do drugs, it becomes a habit. So just, it's, I, think it's, I think it's more about choices, the choice you wanna make, you know, and you have to get that fixed in your heart. Wow, I know your family members are so happy that you come over. Yes, ma'am, they are, my mom, she is, uh, I finally made mom proud. So that, you know, that, that's in a nutshell, you know, she, when she looks at me now, she looks at me differently. So that's, you know. She looks at yeah. you as a man of God yeah. now. Amen. Where she used to look at you as someone just getting high in her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She, she loved her boy, but you know, it yeah. was a struggle, you know. But I thank God for that. I thank God that she's still here, all of the stuff she's been through in her life to witness you know, a real change, you know, real change from God. So that's that's a blessing. That's awesome. So you've just beat in the streets. Yes, ma'am. That's what I do. Every day I'm out in the streets trying to uh, help people through uh, my organization, uh, nonprofit impacting generations, trying to help young men find jobs, trying to help young men to have something to do 
because uh, you know we men young men need a vision they need right. something for life they need something yes. to get up every day to shoot for yes and if if not the bible says that you know we cast off restraint that means people will do anything mm -hmm. if you don't have a focus you'll do anything so mm -hmm. i'm just out there in the trenches trying to you know show christ right that's awesome i'm glad that you you turned yourself around and there are so many places and so many areas in this city mm -hmm. that we can use you, you know, as God has gave you a, a blessed testimony. Amen. You know, I, I can I can believe that you'll be doing a men's conference. Wow. Because there is a lot of guys out there, they're kind of in the background and they that. need you to stand firmly and boldly and present to them what you're presenting today in front of the Amen. viewers. Amen. Yeah. I receive that. Yes. I really do. <laughs> yes. Wow. I see that. It's people like you. Um, what is it that you would like to say to the young guys out there at this moment? I would just want to say it's time to it's time to do something different. To every young man, young woman that's that's having trouble in life with drugs, alcohol, with whatever, you know, um, it's not working. You know, and if it's not working, it's time to do something different. Um, doing something different, my, you know, my one thing I don't do is push off my beliefs on people. But what I will tell you is what worked for me. And what worked for me is a relationship with Jesus Christ. He totally turned my life all the way around. So I would say first and foremost, make a choice. Make a choice for Christ. After that, make a choice to get some type of plan for life and follow that plan. Amen. I'm glad you said that. We're going to come back next segment with another young lady that has uh, went through the program, got cleared and everything. And we just thank you for coming out to share today. Thank you for having me. We look forward to great things coming with you. We're going to keep it locked right here with the Joneses. We'll be right back. So let's do that. Yes. <laughs> 